Unit 5, uh, Digital Electronics, uh, Memory Devices and Digital Integrated Circuits. So what is uh, memory? So here we are used digital circuits and that, uh, that memory is nothing but uh, it's a storage of data so that is memory devices. So digital integrated circuit here uh, um, <coughs> so the memory devices computer memory so it's mainly used to store the data and instruction and uh, internal memory and external memory there are two types of memory so internal memory it's a cache memory and primary memory are main memory so these are the names we can call as uh, that internal memory also used in internal memory external memory is a magnetic disk optical disk and uh, secondary memories so first we have to uh, discuss about the uh, internal uh, memory so in the internal memory so what is cache memory so cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor used in that cache memory uh, also it is used in CPU so it should be a very fast uh, uh, memory also it can uh, hold the data and program which are mostly uh, frequently used by CPU so this is a table uh, CPU register cache memory main memory magnetic disk optical disk and magnetic tape see uh, that CPU register and cache memory and main memory. So these are uh, internal memory and magnetic disk, optical disk, and magnetic tap. So these are external memory. So the flow of uh, magnetic tap to CPU register. So magnetic tap is uh, obviously it is very uh, storage is more, but uh, speed is very less. Uh, if you go through the top of the chart if you go through the optical disk magnet disk if you go to the top the space of the storage of data will uh, might reduce also uh, the speed of the uh, data that the moving of data is very fast uh, the CPU register uh, has less uh, memory but the the free uh, the transformation of data is very fast so this memory hierarchy so same like previous slide uh, here we used primitive model data hierarchy model so same primary memory axillary or secondary memory so how the data uh, might be increased when even the data storage of space is less so it's a uh, graphically we are showing in memory hierarchy an advantage of cache memory so cache memory we know that that is frequently used by cpu also the cache memory is uh, faster than uh, secondary and primary memory <sighs> and it consume less access time as compared to main memory and then you store the program and execute the program within a short period of time that means it is very fast you store the data for temporary use because it's not permanently we can use because it's temporary storage that is used in uh, used by uh, CPU and drawback it's a limited capacity and uh, it's very expensive even if you're going to buy MB size it's uh, much more cost then main memory at primary memory so main memory hold the data and instruction the computer and currently uh, when the currently computer working and um, the main memory divided into two category one is ram another one is rom so ram means read only memory and uh, rom means sorry rom means read only memory ram means random access memory okay uh, then uh, the secondary memory is slower than a cache memory uh, that is we will see the next videos 
so this is the classic category of uh, memories how they categorized memory so computer memory is so splitted into primary and secondary so in the primary uh, we know that uh, that is a ram rom that's a internal memory or main memory so in ram random access memory again they splitted as uh, static ram and dynamic ram and rom read only memory this is a non volatile so what is volatile and non volatile that is we see in next video and p rom and ep rom so p rom programmable read only memory ep rom that is also we are going to see in another slides then wp rom then secondary memory that's a category of uh, <coughs> computer memory so under that hard disk ssd compact disk floppy disk and magnetic tab okay uh, so remaining things we will see in next uh, video thank you